What's up everybody? Last week we didn't drop a video. And so to make that up to you right now, we're gonna give you your second video this week, hot tip number two. Okay, so one of the big issues with trail cameras is getting them stolen, especially on public land. And there's a variety of different tips. Hang them high, hang them in the trees, you know, moss them, you know, put moss all over them, grass so that they, they, they disappear. This one focuses on getting rid of this awkward strap that no matter what you do in all those other instances, this is always gonna stand out. So the number one thing that, that, that hurts people, I think, is the fact that this just doesn't look natural. It just, it doesn't break up and whether this is black, camouflage, green, or gray, it doesn't matter, this stands out. And I was trying to find a way to eliminate this and one of our patrons of the podcast, shout out to Ron, if you guys wanna join patrons, an awesome group, we got a little small group that talks. He said, dude, try paracord. So that's what I did. I went into my into my office and I grabbed some paracord. And this is about seven feet of paracord. It's stupid, stupid easy, stupid light. And all I've done is tied a small little loop in one side. And so I'm gonna show you guys how I put it on the tree and just how rock solid it is. So I got the paracord loop on this side. And all I do is wrap, wrap my arms around the tree, come around, and I feed the rope through this loop. Now I've got this huge tail end because it's about seven feet and that's okay because I wrap it back around the tree, keeping it tight, and I'm gonna tie it off on this side. Now this is where I figured out there's a kind of a fun trick to this. So we're gonna feed the paracord underneath. It's getting caught on the bark right there. All right, there it goes. So keeping it tight, I'm gonna tie a little overhand knot right here. Then we're gonna tie another on this side of it. If you do it on this side, the whole thing slides around. But if you tie another overhand knot right here and cinch it down, it holds it in place. And I just take this tag in and feed it back here behind. Now, this obviously holds it in place enough to where you could put you know, your standard stick behind here if you wanted to, to prop it back. You know, A lot of times you're trying to get that angle. It still gives you enough leeway to where you can prop it back to where you get that angle this way. But if you look, you finagle this down <laughs> when you back up this profile is drastically different than that strap and realistically i if i got away from drab and i went to like a real light tan and and and, and light gray camo cord this would completely disappear and even if it doesn't completely disappear you got to remember if you hang this up 10 feet high it's out of sight it's out of mind and this thing's like a an eighth of an inch wide whereas that straps an inch and a half so cheap easy way to make your cameras disappear. Hope you guys enjoy this tip. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe, hit that little bell notification so you get all of our future videos. And once again, I apologize for missing last week, making up to you guys right now.